Our first glimpse of the hills of Donegal across Loch Foyle before arriving in London Derry. Just nice time to take a walk round the walls of this ancient city, which remain as they stood in the great siege of 1688, which lasted no less than 105 days. The story of this siege is told in the windows of the Guildhall. And now for a wonderful dinner, and so to bed. Next morning, on the road again, heading for the border, on the way to Donegal. Customs examination, mere formality. With a welcoming smile from the customs man, we are in the Republic. But a man-made border cannot change the magnificence of the scenery. A vista of sea locks dotted with islands, the green and gold merging with the blue of the water. cup of coffee in Carrick Gart. And now a chance to bring back a gift or a souvenir. Do you fancy a cottage knit pullover? I did, but I picked up the wrong sort. A woman's instead of a man's. That's better. Here is the world famous Donegal Tweed. That's Kelly Green. Lovely stuff. You can take a length home and have it made up yourself. The road signs are different, printed in two languages, English and Irish, and pointing to places with magical names. Mulroy Bay. The wild roses grow as though they've been brought up in art house. They're wild orchids shaped like little crinolines. Trana Rossen. The road clings to the cliff and breakers wash the solitary beaches far below. little cottages, and fuel for the open hearth is still caught from the peat bog. That's a spade specially for the job. Grand old fella that. Back across the border and a bed in Enniskillen. 